Izi nklobo za maka amabizo. Amabizo, singa wabona, we can see nouns, jenga amesho, singa watinta, jenga ni, utinta isandla, In isi zulu, we don't have the and a. Asinanzo nge si zulu. Izabizwana. Izabizwana hii gi, which is I, u, which is you, o he, o she. Ama bizo, ama anyi. Iko oli, uhemen, umsombulu. Ama bizo, singa wabona ganjani. How will you identify ama bizo? They all start with a vowel. Inga ako sine iko oli, uhemen, umsombulu. Amabizu can be the subject of your sentence. Isibonelu. Indota iashad. E of indota must, it's a noun prefix, so must match the verb prefix e of shal. The verb ngesi zulu can't stand on its own. And if your verb is at the end of the sentence, there should be a ya between the verb prefix, which is an e, and the verb, which is shala. Isibone lo sesibil. U hemen uya shala. U noun prefix of hemen and u of your verb prefix must match. U ya shala. U ya shala. Now the u stands for hemen. If you don't want to use u hemen, you just say u yashal. We know we are talking about u hemen. Amabizo can be time or place of your sentence. Isibonel. Liana golwe sibil. Ekap. Time golwe sibil. Zikat. Indao. Ekap. Place. Liana Golwe sibili ekapa. Asibonege isi vivinyo. Gubani o sheli. Impendulu. Indota. Gubani o sheli. Impendulu. Uhemen. Isi vivinyo. Sendawo neskati. Lina nini. When is it raining? Impendulu. Golwe sibili. Isi vivinyo. Lina gupi. We. Is it raining? Impendulu. Ekapa. 